In other news, it's amazing how such a little crime can bring such huge outrage. But when someone takes off with your lunch, it's very personal and very irritating. It sure is. You might be surprised to find there's a lot of people getting their lunch lifted, and there's not much they can do about it except taking matters into their own hands. Rob Olson's in the Fox 9 newsroom where we set a little trap of our own, right? That's right. You know, uh, Robin, we heard so many stories of uh, people with disappearing lunches, people losing their lunches and not in a gastrointestinal kind of way, stories of people actually lacing their own food with x lax or soap, even body fluids that we decided to do a little experiment of our own. In this very room, we set some bait to catch some food bandits, and they bit. We baited our fridges, found somebody was trolling for food that wasn't theirs. Our Arby's sandwiches that have been in there since uh, about five days ago. So we set a more mouth-watering trap and waited a little longer. This is almost cruel bait. It is a small crime, but a very big annoyance. All the people we talked to... I was pretty upset. I was looking forward to it. I had it on my mind all morning, and then it was gone. Echoed all the people we surveyed. 133 people and 59 have lost their lunch to a thief. That is 44%. We asked what actions they took. Most said none. One told the boss. One confronted the thief at a bar, and it escalated into a brawl. We asked how thieves should be punished. Most people said they should simply replace what they took. Others said lose their jobs, go to jail, even face death. You wrote, yes, they should have to buy everyone's lunch for a month. <laughs> yes. Make them think twice. Many said they were not happy. Some were doing something about it. I started licking the tops of the cans. And then I let it be known that I was licking the tops of the cans. What will your employer do? Probably not much. We surveyed 10 Twin Cities companies, and only one even said that, yes, they'd had a complaint. They put up signs as a result, but had no policy to punish the lunch-stealing employees. Several other companies told us they prefer the issue be worked out between the people involved. There was one time when I brought in a burrito and a tangelo, and... I couldn't find it in the fridge. On one of the last perfect lunch times of fall, when the sidewalks crowd up with outside eaters, we found Mary out with her office in downtown Minneapolis with stories of repeated theft and one bust. I went to SA, came back to work with a sandwich, and there was the cleaning person eating a burrito and a tangelo. You caught him. <laughs> yeah. But I was pretty annoyed. Did you say something? No, I talked to my supervisor about it. Our you didn't cleaning wrestle person. the burrito back out of his hands. No, no. I thought maybe they were desperately hungry. <laughs> <laughs> she says she started writing poisonous on all her lunches. Hey, you two all set to order? Other eaters who avoid the whole problem by eating out. Stealing someone's lunch? It's pretty silly. I wouldn't do it. Says co-workers avoid it by keeping their lunches locked up. There are some people in my workplace, rather than using the communal refrigerator in the break room, have opted to buy their own uh, small refrigerators and put them in their offices. It begs the question, why would people who may not otherwise even think of stealing a thing... Treat the company fridge as if it's pot lock. No one's going to see me, so I'll just take it. A psychologist we consulted believes it's a combination of no fear of any punishment with a little office hostility. I think when it's at work, often it's about, um, you know, I'm not being treated fairly here, and um, I'm not getting all that I should get. And my coworkers and my management don't treat me fairly, so it's okay. Which brings us back to our own refrigerators. Three days after we loaded the trap, the takeout cheesecake remained untouched. But the leftover pizza had a visitor. We do not know who. We don't really care. It just proves it happens everywhere. It is really annoying. And the penalty... I believe there's a special level of the afterworld specifically deserved, reserved for those people. ...may have to come in karma. Choke on it. <laughs> <laughs> we checked what a city attorney could do in the case of this, and it is not much. You could fill out a police report, but for a couple of bucks worth of stolen food, it would never land in front of a prosecutor. That's a big reason people keep doing it, a big reason people find their own ways to retaliate. Rob Olson, Fox 9 News. <laughs> okay, thanks, Rob. Did you see that piece of pizza? Whoever took a bite of that thing had a mouth about that wide. Karma will get yeah, you. Yeah. I suppose they could track it down that way. It's almost like a 
footprint in the snow or something. What are you going to do? Come open your mouth. <laughs> ah. Take a bite of the pizza. We're going to serve you. got pizza in your teeth. A teenager abducted at a Florida car wash coming up for killer's conviction. Smash and grab. Well, not really. A dumb crook's feeble attempt to steal a big screen TV. And catch a tiger by the toe, a big cat on the run, how animal cops finally managed to cage this wild beast.